Uh, my name is Shauna Dobson. I am from Dallas, Texas area. Uh, grew up in Baltimore, Maryland. First got into MMA, I was I had just moved to Texas from, from Maryland and I was kind of driving down the street, uh, you know, looking for something to do, you know, to meet people, make friends, and I found this little boxing gym in this little shopping plaza next to this fiesta or some kind of Mexican mart. And you know, I went into the boxing gym and I was looking to sign up and the, one of the guys there, he held pads for me for like 30 seconds. He was like, just uh, jab cross, 30 seconds. You know, and I was like, oh my God, I'm out of breath. I was like, I love this. So I was, I became obsessed. I, I came back every day, started off with boxing, kickboxing, the MMA coach uh, said, you know, come check out our MMA team. So went over there, did some grappling and, and uh, went out, did my first amateur fight. Uh, did another amateur fight, said I think I should be getting paid to get punched in the face. So went pro and I've only done three pro fights, but you know, I, uh, I got that it, that it factor. So that, that uh, allows me to hang with, with these OGs around here. So it's, it's been a great experience so far. I played soccer uh, since like the age of eight, my dad being Jamaican, of course, got me into soccer. <laughs> so yeah, I was, an, I was an athlete growing up, but that was pretty much the only sport uh, that I really uh, gave my time to. I didn't like, I wasn't like growing up and getting fist fights in school and all that. I don't know what, what intrigued me about the sport, um, but when I, when I learned about martial arts and, and what, what it does, what it allows you to do physically and mentally and spiritually, I was like, okay, this is, why didn't I start this sooner? That's what I keep saying every day. Why didn't I start this sooner? At least jujitsu or something, wrestling. Yes, yes, I'm a fourth grade school teacher. I've uh, been doing it about five years now. I love it. My students, um, you know, they, they're very supportive of my fight career. When I'm cutting weight, they're very, um, their behavior is a lot better. <laughs> when I'm cutting weight, they, they know that, that I'm a little bit weaker. <laughs> so they, they help me out. Yeah, my, my uh, co-workers, they are, they just, they can't believe, they're like, we still can't believe, like, you're a fighter and a teacher. And my administrators, they're, they're, they're very supportive, you know, they allow me to take time off, uh, you know, to go and weigh in and, and, and do the weight cut. And when I show up with, you know, a black eye or, a, you know, bruised hand or whatever, you know, they just, they, what happened? And then they just keep moving. They don't, they don't ask too many questions. They know what's up. They know what I'm doing after school, so. They're, they're cool about it. When I, when I heard about the 125 division, first I heard about the 115 division opening up, and I was like, okay, maybe I could do that. And I was like, man, I don't want to cut to 115 three times. I've never cut to 115 before. Like I said, I like wing stop, so I don't know about that. <laughs> so when, when, the one, when I heard about it being 125, I was like, okay, this is a sign, this is a blessing, this is meant. So I, I took a chance and, and the, the people in my hometown, you know, they helped me. I started to go fund me and the support just came flooding in. It was like, it was surreal. It was unbelievable. You know, everybody helped me raise money to, to fly myself and my coaches out and, and to try out. And I was just gonna, I was just taking a chance. I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna try it. And the fact that I'm sitting here right now and I and I made it and I progressed all those steps, it's like, it lets me know like, okay, this is what I was born to do. This is what I was meant to do. I know that I don't have a lot of experience, um, but I know that the areas that I have to grow, you know, it's, it, it's I'm a quick learner. I'm a quick learner. And I know that I have something a little different. I know that I have that athletic ability and I know that I have the speed and, and, and just that it thing. I, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't want to sound. I want to be humble. I, I'm very humble, but I know that I have something special about me that will allow me to be out here with these these women that have all this experience and and you know hang with them and and you know learn from them and teach them at the same time. And it's just it's just been great. Okay. So the thing about Jamaicans is, is uh, the stereotype is we have a lot of jobs. So you know. I'm okay with having more than one job, but teaching is very time consuming. Uh, my dream is to be able to train and fight full time and put 100% of my time into it. Um, so I definitely want to keep working with kids, whether it's volunteering, you know, working with at risk uh, kids, um, substitute teaching, you know, 
coaching, soccer, something. You know, I definitely want to keep working with children, but I would love to be able to just put 100% of my focus and my time into my fight career.